So I don't think I'm going to have the uh, implants that are in my neck. <laughs> Okay, so I have four doctors. I have a surgeon, uh, uh, oncologist surgeon. I have a medical oncologist. I have a radiologist and I have a reconstructive surgeon. So my medical oncologist is who is going, who is um, keeping track of my chemo and whatnot, right? Um, and all the in the medical aspect. My oncology surgeon is the one who is going to actually do the double mastectomy. My um, reconstructive surgeon, obviously, is the one that's gonna be in charge of my reconstruction. And then my radiologist is the one who is going to be doing the radiation. So I met with my radiologist and my reconstructive surgeon in between this video and the last video. And it's very interesting because um, I'm actually doing everything at the same time. So this would be a little interesting. So at the same time that I get my double mastectomy, I'm actually getting my permanent implants put in right behind it. They wrap my implants in something called um, alloderm, which is uh, skin. It's uh, donated skin. And then they wrap the implant in the alloderm. They put it in... And that way, the radiation um, that I'm getting on my left side is right here. But the alloderm actually protects the implant from the radiation. Um, and, um, and there are other techniques we could do during radiation to make sure that my implant will be fine. Uh, so I thought that was pretty dope. Another thing that I didn't know, right, that I was talking to my reconstructive surgeon about was when she was asking me about the size that I wanted, I said to her, well, you know, I want to keep them small because when I gain weight, I gain weight in my breast first. To which she replied, you're not gaining weight in your breast ever again. <gasps> right? Like, what? Yeah. So they're taking all... I'm, it's a shell, literally. And they are taking out every single thing. So what will be very interesting in my future is to see where I gain weight in the future since it's not going to be in my breast. Yeah. So the fat will be redistributed to another part of my body. That, that's, some, that's some BS. So yeah, so I'm going to have to relearn a new body after all of this because I'm going to have a new one, right? Like a somewhat new one. So um, she was like, so whatever... Uh, size you just we decide to go is what is going to be period for the rest of your life um unless you gain she said 20 percent of your body fat that's the only way which my body doesn't work like that um that it'll affect my implants um i'm not having more children so that won't affect it either um and so i found that super interesting i was like oh wow um also we're going to have to do two surgeries one will be the implant, and then later on, I, I will have to gain weight in between times so that I can get a skin graft to um, smooth out the transition section of my um, surgery for cosmetic purposes. Um, so I don't have anywhere to take that from right now, so we can't do, can't do that right now. So, uh, so in between my surgery, radiation, I'm going to take a little break, gain a little weight, and then it's just a day procedure. And I'll be done with that part. Um, so yeah, so I found I found that very interesting. I'm gonna get the gummy bear implants, and uh, yeah. So I've been doing research on Alloderm. My doctor was like, is like one of the best in the city, hands down. She had like her magazine cover in her office, and so of when she got named, you know, one of the best, number one in the city. Actually, she was named number one in 2018. Um, in the city that I live in. So that's pretty dope. She showed me like the pictures and it's all very natural. So I don't think I'm going to have the uh, implants that are in my neck. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, but since we're going down, they're actually going to be lifted because I'm going down uh, in size. So, and then I spoke to my radiologist. It's 15 minutes a day, every day, 30 sessions over a six week period, Monday through Friday. Um, 
of every week for six weeks. So that'll be interesting as well. Um, I'm really, really uh, researching more of skincare for that area so that I don't get burned and stuff like that. Um, when I find it, I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, and I'm still going to work through that process. Well, that's the plan is to work through that radiation as well. Try to get it later in the day so that I can go to work in the mornings and then have recovery time through the night. And um, like I said, keep it moving if I can. So uh, those are two new things that have happened to me in the past three weeks. And um, yeah, so my surgery is scheduled for March. Um, my last day at chemo should be February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to me. Um, and then I have to wait a month after chemo to get the surgery done, just to give my body a break. Um, so the surgery will be in March. And then um, I won't have any more huge surgeries, praise God. Um, and then we're going to take a month off after surgery to recover. Um, six weeks to recover, excuse me. And then we'll start radiation. And then we'll be done. So my estimated done is June of 2020. And I actually have another silver lining because I'm having a wedding in November of 2020. So when I spoke to my radiologist about that, um, because we're going to Jamaica, she said that I should be about at about 80% back to my normal self within those five months due to my age and the fact that I am still moving around and, um, and being uh, very active throughout this process that as long as I continue to be active, even afterwards, um, by the time November comes along, I should be um, good to participate in every water sport <laughs> and adventure that I choose. So that's another um, pretty dope thing for me to look forward to um, and for me to continue to keep myself healthy and moving forward. So, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think about it anything else and I don't chemo brain is real in real life it's real for real for real um yeah if you have any questions about anything please leave them in the comments I am more than happy to answer any questions that you have hopefully you are um, giving yourself a lot of self love and um, a lot of forgiveness and a lot of positive thoughts. Um, and if you have your days where you can't get your own, then get someone else's. Reach out if you're not already being reached out to. And um, yeah. If you're not the person that's going through this journey and you know somebody that is, continue to reach out and send positivity their way. And if it's you going through it, I'm sending positivity your way. And uh, peace and love.